Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and um, my channel is One Girl Creates. Um, this is a slightly belated Friday sews because yesterday I was um, I was busy. So um, I thought I'd come on today, do a Saturday sew, so to speak, and, uh, and let you know what's been going on this week. So we all need to say thank you to Jen from Today and Jen Sew Room for starting the um, fantastic hashtag that is Friday Sews. And um, yeah, let's get on with it. So what have I been making this week? So I've actually finished a few things this week. As you can see, I am wearing my Heyday dungarees, my cord Heyday dungarees. Um, I have one picture of me in them. This is actually a picture from um, sort of my life update. I also show you at the end of the day, um, end of this video. But um, yeah, I um, I've already worn them for a day. I just love these dungarees at the moment. I really do. Um, I'm wearing them with the blouse I made the other week because, unfortunately, I managed to ruin the blouse on the first day of wearing it by um, getting dandelion juice on there. So if anyone has any solution for removing dandelion juice from a top, I have an absolutely... Can I show you? Is there any anywhere I can show you the stain? Eek. Let me see. <laughs> Sorry, not the way I was going to do it. There we go. Can you see that? I have a couple of stains on this top and they are dandelion juice. And it's so frustrating because I really like this blouse. It's so pretty. And um, yeah, so I wasn't very happy about that. In fact, I was quite peeved about that. Um, but yes, so if, knows, if anyone knows of any way of getting rid of dandelion juice stains, then I will be eternally grateful for, for you to tell me. Um, what else have I been making? So after the heydays, I have also made, so I actually made this on the same day. I made myself another long sleeve Tabitha tea. Um, and all I did was I used some fabric that I've used before. This is, um, I made a dress out of this a couple of months ago. Um, and I just wanted a long sleeve t-shirt and this is so super soft. And um, I thought it would go well under the heydays, which I think it did. And um, yeah. So I got this made up really quickly. Um, it's so easy to make, but I have a question for you. I would like you to suggest some t-shirt patterns for me um, because I do appreciate that all I do is make Tabithas and I know that there are loads out there and I wanted to make a different one this week and I hadn't cut it out, or I hadn't printed it and, then, and I thought, you're in a rush now do it later. So put in the um, comments your favourite t-shirt patterns. Free ones, not free ones, whatever. Favourite t-shirt patterns, preferably ones that are not too tight. I can't wear tight ones anymore. I'm just too big around the belly, too big on the bust and yeah. So reasonably loose style, um, not too baggy but not too tight either. Not being fussy at all, you know. So yeah, let me know your, your t-shirt patterns and your go-tos and um, I will be interested to see which ones you say. Um, and the last thing that I've made this week, the last thing I need to show you, is I finally finished my cardigan. So um, this has has been actually a real pleasure to make um, and it's I think this is probably my favourite ever knitted garment. I think it looks exactly like it did in the pattern. And I love the wool that I've used. I've used the Women's Institute Aran wool. Um, and I just love the tweed effect. I'm just so happy with this. Um, I've worn it a couple of days already this week. And yeah, it's just so good. And it's so warm, but not too warm, if you know what I mean, because it has got the holes, you have got the air coming through it. Um, and I think with that sort of weight wool, I would need to have some sort of air flow through it. But um, no, I'm so pleased with this cardigan. I think it looks really good on um, and it's just my sort of style and shape. So I'm very pleased with it. Um, and that is the Ashley, Li Ashley Lillis. I thought it was the everyday cardigan and it's not. I think this is the spring, spring side, the spring something, Springfield cardigan, I think it is. Um, and yeah, I will put, I'll put the name below just in case. I get it wrong but yeah I think it's the Springfield cardigan um by Ashley Lillis and it is such an easy make it's so obviously it's very repetitive so once you've got the pattern going you can just keep going and watch 
TV while you're doing it and stuff. So yeah, so I love this. I'm so proud of this. This is definitely my best ever knitted make. So I didn't wait long, however, to get something new on the needles. Now I am going to stick with sort of with the pattern because the way that she does the pattern is she gives you the di dimensions of the knitted piece of fabric that you want at the end. So it's not that you have to keep the same pattern as long as when you're doing your swatch, you keep to the same, uh, you find the right dimensions, you're okay. So I immediately went out and got myself some more Women's Institute wool. Um, and let me get the ball so you can see it. So I, the Women's Institute wool is actually from Hobbycraft and it's just so soft, it's lovely. They do have a proper wool, but I always buy the acrylic because I actually, I can't wear wool. It itches me too much. So um, this is their, oh gosh, got see. So premium acrylic yarn. This is the double knit I've gone for this time. And um, it's in a lovely aqua colour. It's called aqua. Um, and yeah, I bought, I think it was six balls of wool for, for you normally get buy two, get one free on this wool as well. So I think it was something like eight pounds or something, maybe 11. It was two pound eighty, eleven 11 pounds something for the, the amount of balls of wool that I needed. So I bought six balls of wool and I'm just knitting a plain back and I've already started the back. Um, I'm just knitting a plain back and then I'm going to do the front with um, a little embroidered, not embroidered, a lace detail going up the front of the, like a panel going up the side, either side of the ribbing band. So it's not too bad. It's coming together quite nicely. I mean, it's definitely knitting, taking a longer time to knit. Um, it won't be a quick one, this one, but I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased. It'll be a nice cardigan. It goes well with at least one of my dresses, if not a few more, actually, to be honest. Um, and it's just such a lovely, bright, summery colour that I thought, it's perfect so um yeah so this is my new knitting project um and uh, i will keep you updated on where i am with it but yeah highly recommend the women's institute wool it is a really cost effective nice um nice feeling wool um and yeah it's really lovely so um highly recommend that and then what else have I been doing? So this week has been my final ever week at uni. Um, and it has, it's been, got a roller coaster this week. So on Wednesday, we had our final exam. The first two days a week, Monday, Tuesday this week, I was, and sorry, last weekend as well, I was busy trying to put together a presentation that I had to give. Um, and the presentation was on Wednesday. I got into one of the first appointments. We had to do it on Teams. I got in as early as I possibly could so that I, could, I knew I was done then. I'm very much like, I just want to get it done. I don't want to hang around. Um, so yeah, so I was finished by about, I think about 11.30 on Wednesday. So I did a little happy dance in the kitchen. Um, we had a nice celebratory Chinese on Wednesday. And um, we then had our final day at uni yesterday. And it was quite, it was, a, I was excited, but I was also sad. And I've made some absolutely amazing friends there. They are, they'll be friends for life. And they are so, we have so much fun. And they've all been so lovely to me. You know, I am at least near enough 10 years older, I think, than the second oldest. Um, and, you know, me and, me and the, this other person, such a guy, um, have basically felt like the parents I think on the course and just sort of <laughs> looked after them and that I mean these other people are all mature students as well but it's been it's just been lovely I've had such a lovely time they've all been so supportive and so helpful and you know it's just been really lovely it's been a really nice experience it's certainly not one that I regret and I get to be a teacher at the end of it which is perfect for me it's absolutely perfect so yeah so I did that um I also did a day supply teaching this week I've got another three day supply teaching next week which is good and um yeah so that has been my week so far this week um my plans for this week are I want to make myself um some pajamas so I've got I have got quite a few pairs of pajamas but a lot of the ones that I've got that are shop made are just too tight around my waist at the moment and I haven't yet found the inclination to do 
anything about dieting, so it's not happening. Um, I have to be, I'm one of these people that has to be in the mood for it. I think it might be coming because I've now finished all uni and I haven't got to worry about that and stress and all that sort of stuff. So I just need to get on top of my house and then I might be able to think about, you know, eating a bit better and I don't do the cooking, see, so I have to sort of rein my husband in from cooking unhealthy but lovely food. He cooks delicious meals, but he doesn't like to cook healthy. So yeah, but I think he also wants to lose some weight, so. I think we'll get there soon. Uh, my son, however, is like the the vegetable fruit monster and will eat everything vegetable and fruit based. So he's the healthiest child that, you know, goes around. I can put any fruit and veggie in front of him pretty much and he'll eat it. Um, loves spinach, sprouts, everything, everything that you think is a child's worst nightmare. He absolutely loves. So it's really helpful. So that's good. Um, so yeah, so that is my week for this, this week. Um, I'm sure there will be some sewing because I am now taking advantage of having free evenings to do what I like with. Um, so I am going to hopefully get on with some pyjamas. I'm going to hopefully get, because I've got a few metres of fabric that I can use for pyjamas and that I want to use for pyjamas. Um, there was, um, a leopard print pointel from So Haley Jane that I'm never going to wear out. I don't mind wearing as pyjamas, but I'm never, ever going to wear out. So I will probably put that into, make that into pyjamas. And I also have a, um, a cotton jersey, which is grey with gold hearts on. And again, that's that was earmarked for, to be pyjamas anyway. So um, yeah, hopefully that's going to be my week because I'm going to quickly whip out a couple of pairs of pyjamas. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then I'm sure there will be other makes as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's been short and sweet. Um, I hope you've liked what you've watched. And if you have liked what you've watched, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, I would be ever so grateful. And if you put something in the comments, I always reply to them. Um, and I love having conversations in the comments. There's some people there that are really, you know, they're, they're starting to tell me about their life. And I just absolutely love that. I love hearing about other people. I'm basically a nosy person. Um, and I love to hear about other people's stories and other people's takes on things. So, yeah, please do put something in the comments. Please do tell me what's going on in your life. I am, would love to know. And if you have any suggestions for T-shirt patterns, then please do leave them in the comments below because I would love to know which T-shirts are your go-to T-shirts. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye.